What's up guys, your boy Guzzi Visuals and we're going to be working on this picture. We're going to be moving this picture from this. Let's uh, zoom in. This is the before. This is the after. You know, this is the before and uh, this is the after. Let's zoom out. So we're going to be retouching the picture, frequency separation, wetting our eyes and uh, adjusting our colors so let's dive right in all right first of all we uh create uh, a new layer two new layers okay let's create one layer first ctrl j to remove our pimples and all that so we select our healing brush spot healing brush you can also use a clone stamp if you want so you press alternate to sample layer and brush through it press alternate sample layer brush uh, you see it's kind of giving us a white white um stuff so let's just let's use our spot healing so you just heal you you heal here so let's heal the pimples blemishes okay the pimples and the pimples and the pimples come to the forehead We heal, we heal, and then we heal. All right, let's melt. Okay. So I've healed um, what we have to heal, the pimples. This is the before. This is the before, and this is the after. So the pimples, let's let's zoom in so that we can see it better. This is the before, this is the after. Just here, healing. Then we uh, create two new layers by pressing Ctrl J twice. Then go to our second layer. We we'll go to filter. We we'll go to noise, dust, and scratches. We we'll select our radius to uh, let's say twenty five. Yeah, 25. Let's say 23. Press OK. We'll go to our second layer. We'll enable it and then go to image. We'll go to apply image. We'll change this merged to uh we'll change it to background copy three. Background copy two. That's here the second uh, the layer where we did the dust and scratches so background copy two leave your blending mode to subtract opacity 100 scalar 2 offset as 128 i'll press ok then we change the blending mode to linear lights so we we'll select both of them put them in a layer then go to the background copy two that's that should be your blur layer and uh, we select our lasso brush sorry lasso two not lasso brush and we select our face uh chill as a mistake so we select the forehead Then you hold on shift, select the side of our face. Hold on shift, select this side through to the jaw. Then, okay, let's not select the nose for yet. Uh, okay, 
then we click on filter blow gaussian blow and we adjust so let's leave it at um, 40 let's say 38 let's leave it at 38 then we go to the nose we select we'll go to filter blow gaussian blow let's let's leave it at um, 20 let's leave it at 1920 then we select from the neck if you make a mistake in your selection or you want to select more just hold on sh uh, shift to adjust your selection hold on shift and select again so after you've selected you go to filter blow gaussian blow and uh, adjust your radius to how you want it to be then we select our hands okay chill select the hand here go to filter or go to blow go to gaussian blow and adjust it all right let's see our before and our after so these are before these are after these are before and these are after so uh yeah and if you notice the okay these are before and these are after so our picture is retouched so we now let's click um shift control alternate e to create a new layer we'll go to filter Go to order go to high pass this way you sharpen your picture to an extent select so your radius and then move to linear lights let's see the before and after this is the before this is the after this is the before and this is the after so we'll go back to our layer here the background the texture layer select our brush Select our mixer brush and we we'll reduce our radius and the brush through. We'll brush to her skin. This to reduce the the texture to an extent. This is not really necessary depending on the picture you're working on but just make sure that your wetness is really reduced like my wetness here is 10 so that you won't lose the texture of, of the skin fully okay don't brush too much just some subtle brushing has to be very subtle not much not much all right so let's see our before and after this is our before and this is our after this is our before and this is our after see how far we have come and that's our frequency separation is done then for us to color grade it to kind of make it pop go to selective color go to your blacks increase it a bit not too much just a bit I think four is okay go to neutrals increase it a bit okay think um 10 is okay and um yeah go to your levels brighten it a bit yeah i think this is okay this is okay this is okay you can still go back to your selective color to just adjust the color of her face you can go to red you know 
make it yellow not really yellow but like just make it pop okay uh don't overdo it i think this is okay for the colors this is before this is after this is before this is after all right so we now go to to whiten our eyes we use we're using retouching academy we go to magic eyes Uh, we we'll go to magic eyes. We'll go to clean our eyes. We we'll zoom in. We we'll select our brush. Increase our opacity to hundred, and we'll brush through. Brush through her eyes. Go to the second eyes. brush through it and we zoom out we see it's popping a little bit too much then we reduce it or reduce the opacity all right then we go to our retouching academy too we'll go to our dodge and bone course Using our dodge and bone, which is here. Let's let's disable this um, visual aid effects. Uh, we we'll go to our bone. Select our brush. So bone is is for the dark area the shadows we release our brush to an extent make sure our brush is um, on soft and then we brush through the shadows let's increase the bits to get an effect we brush through the shadows this for the bone through the shadows All right, let's increase it a bit, a little bit, a little bit. We'll brush through the shadows, through the shadows. So using the and bone is, is meant to help your image to be defined to an extent. It helps your pictures to be defined to an extent so uh, okay so we go to our dodge dodge is for the highlighted areas for the highlighted areas that's the you go to the jaws the jaw areas the forehead areas and all that for the highlighted areas we go back to the dope to our bone okay that's too much that's too much Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's leave that side like that. So, this is it. So, we reduce this. This is before, this is after. Let's reduce our opacity. The, board, the, the burning is too much. So, let's reduce it a bit. And this for the highlights. This is before, this is after. And, um, Okay, 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 okay. And this is what we have. 
this is what we have let's group it uh let's let's put it under here okay so let's select our whole layers and see how far we have gone we'll group it so this is how the image was and this is how it is now let's zoom in this is the before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after so this is how you do your full frequency separation how you do your dodge and bone and how you whiten your eyes it's as simple as that not as simple if you have any uh, questions you can leave them in the comment section and uh yeah we also sharpened our picture like we see picture is crisp if we view if you zoom in you can see the texture in the skin so much texture that's keeping it real so this is the before again this is the before we can see the blemishes on the face and all that and this is the after everything is clear before and after before and after if you have any questions leave the question in the comments don't forget to like subscribe peace